Alrighty, people. So it looks like that TCM are playing against Kick right now. They're going to be playing against Eyes on You. Another really good Danish team. We're In opening up here with the uh, knife round. As uh, COI is already getting taken down, so Chicago now 3v3. Yep, and um, we've just got the GOTV and stuff for this. Luckily, we're only missing the boring knife round. The worst... The hardest nut round to commentate, and... Although it's pretty important, oh, apart from on Dust 2, which is the most balanced map in the game. Yeah. That's the knife round. Which TCM are going to win. So this is basically going to be Eyes on You, or kind of an Eyes on You mixed team, versus TCM in the ESL A series. And this is going to be Banshee casting this, along with still, still Whiskey. Whiskey five. They're going to be going live with the first pistol round. Looks like they've just gone straight into it. They're no messing around. Oh, my eyes on you were going to reply with two of their own. They still haven't really got to take control of the area. Argo Kid getting a nice kill there onto Simon, making it into a two versus three. The B bomb site's completely clear as Inza is moving into the bomb. Got that pistol in hand, and they still are in an okay situation. Mantis is going to dodge. Well, not that bullet. He's going to dodge a decoy grenade, and it's now a two versus two. This is still anyone's round. That's Caspit. It's another lovely headshot. Using that block, that's going to be all for Chicago kid. He needs to do something amazing right now. But he's being sprayed from both sides. And he's desperately trying to defend this bomb site with only nine HP left. Whoop has got one. Whoop has got the second one. Ins are picking up two frags, and that is going to be the first round to eyes on you. I do apologize for putting in there. <laughs> Looks like we got a good lineup. We got two Max, one Galil, and a uh, P90 for eyes on you. This uh, SMG round. Looks like they went ahead and called uh, 3B, but they're still going to push. It's definitely what I would have done. I mean, it's an SMG round. It's close quarters. Definitely wouldn't have went long there, so that's a good play by them. That's a nice frag there coming out from QA Mantis, getting the trade even on an eco. Said that, they're not going to get very much else. Castle is also known as Rugger, is going to come up behind and uh, watch the B ton. But uh, Dan Mark, also known as uh, Herdin, is going to get that uh, last that's last kill with the Glock. Eyes uh, on you now, 2-0. to zero. Yep, And that's a pretty good team for, a pretty good start, not team. <laughs> Pretty good start for what many would consider the underdog in this uh, matchup. As in TCM, they're known for well, they're known for mostly having Shoxi and Guardian in their lineup, <laughs> but they're also known for basically beating Navi, winning the Tech Lab uh, Mints, and they're definitely considered the top team. And Asmo is going to get a nice kill there, taking Casper completely by surprise. Mac 9 doing some work, and it's going to be a 1 versus 4. Ball. It's going to be a 1 versus 4 right now, leaving it all to Simon to defend this bomb. Fuse is already going off. Can he save it? He's going to pick up 3 kills, but that isn't going to be enough, as that is going to be 1 to 2, as somehow DCM win that at Eco round. Yeah, Tin, Tin was definitely able to secure the win. Asmo was able to uh, defuse it from behind the box. Don't know how that plant got uh, so messed up there when they were able to defuse it from behind the box. But they were, and they went ahead and got that first round. And it's now an op battle between Asmo and uh, Casper, also known as uh, Rugga. Looks like Asmo hit Casper. Casper now half health. That smoke is going to stop any kind of aggression coming out into long. He's taking control of tunnels. Asmo hitting a nice orc shot there. Peeking out just above that smoke. Dodge around that. Four versus five. Just slowly creeping up through short. Asmo going for the finishing kill on the uh, not quite getting that hit. 
COI taking down two. Insta getting, trying to get that kill, not quite getting it. Uh, Chicago kid went ahead and took him down, but Casper with Talatory out there. Sees one cat flat, doesn't get the hit. Pixel. Gets him on the second shot. Two nice kills there coming out from Casper. He's got that orb, but he's still got a whole bunch of work to do for himself. Going up against QK, he saw him! But QK heard him. That is going to be two to two. As TCM do bring it back after losing that first pistol round, they're probably going to put eyes on you onto an eco round right now. Really? I think it's after this round that's going to be the interesting to see how eyes on you react. To pretty dom disappointing start considering they won the pistol round. Oh, and Shrugs with an opening 2k hit bomb down there is Simon. At long gets taken down by COY. There's a quick round for uh, 10 as they go ahead and secure three on the board here on DE Dust 2. Now, this is where the game kind of starts, so to say. Everybody's brought up correctly. There's no boss buys, there's no weird stuff happening. It's just straight up game versus game going on. Nobody's going to win that alt battle. It looks like we got a, a B push. No, they're going to go ahead and rotate down to mid, it looks like. Maybe work uh, work Cat here. As uh, Insta covers them. Oh, and a nice AK shot by Asmo as he takes him down with that AK. Oh, versus AK. AK wins. Instant headshot. Lovely little piece of aiming there. Kill series able to scurry away before that frag did any major damage to him on cat. It looks like they are gonna do a mid push, but we got Chicago Kid waiting right at boxes. Insta replying with the AK headshot yet again. They do it, go ahead and secure B. Steel series picking up or excuse me, uh, Insta picking up his third. Insta has done some nice movement and nice kills there on this round. Perfect aim and also perfect sub. Uh, just general game sense. Oh, and what a takedown by COY. I was definitely thinking uh, Rugger was going to go ahead and be able to pull off that op shot, but COY was just too ready for it. And Insta picks up his force, securing the round for Eyes on You, tying it all up here. So that is going to be 3-3. Three to three. Uh, TCM are going to be able to buy two-point round whoever wins this. Looks like Bomb's gonna go ahead and get pushed mid by Rugga here. So he's gonna go ahead and go Cat. There's currently nobody on A-plat. Could be another round based on the setup by Eyes on You. They're already taking control of A. Insta already on catwalk. Pulls a headshot on Strugs like it's just easy. Simon pulling off to Chicago, pulling off Chicago there, making him take a seat. As Insta and Simon are just going absolutely massive right now. I mean, they're perfect headshots and also perfect movement. Completely. Punishing every mistake the counter terrorists have made in the top. Yeah, based off uh, Insta's uh, perfect, perfect cooldown sprays, I might just have to uh, pay for some lessons. Although, QK is doing a pretty good job of saving his uh, AK uh, M4 right now, picking up two nice kills. Terrorists win. Sadly, he can't take out Insta, and that is going to be 3 to 4 as Eyes and you take the lead for the second time in this game. Yeah, Insta's out for blood this game. I mean, he's just hunting everybody down, pulling up chairs for everybody to take a seat. It's just ridiculous. It is interesting to note that Eyes and You have both the top and the bottom fragger of the game. Going 10 and 4 of Insta, and Riot are sadly on only 1 and 6. It is going to be a pistol round 4. Sides. They've stacked on 
B and short, but it hasn't really worked as they're just going up through long. They've taken control of long. Looks like they're just going to go for an A bomb plant right now. Slowly working A, it looks like a bomb map. Ryder picking up a headshot on AK, but AK pulls off the second one. And Insta again out for blood with that double AK spray down. Perfect control. And so, it's a Chicago kid so with a 5-7 in hand. Can he do anything and basically make this worthwhile? No, he can't. Insta picks up another three-piece. He's going... Just destroying. It's like Godzilla ripping through Tokyo. And I will say that this Eyes on You mixed team, so to say, made up of players from Eyes on You and Silverforge, are really doing way better than I expected them to. Because again, this is TCM. This is TCM. Dossing. And for my information, uh, they're not playing uh, for TCM anymore. Uh, they're strictly called Kid now. As it, I, I do know that their official name is 10, but everybody will know them as TCM. They are the... Right, right. Whatever they're called, they're currently two, two rounds down against Eyes on You, and well... Casper hits a lovely orb shot there. Fly is going to get the return. Asmo is going to barely win that battle against Ryder, making it a 3 versus 4 with Asmo on only 2 HP. However, this bomb plant's going to go down very Insta easily. Ready. Insta ready. Is he ready? He is! He takes down both of them, but man is not having it. Not having it. Sadly, the rest of his team got taken down an A by uh, Sly, and that's going to be 3 to 5, or 4 to 5, in favor of Eisen Ewan. Well, this is being a far closer game than I expected. Yep, Simon is the guy who played as a stand-in for Copenhagen Wolves. He's well known for suggesting he's the better, one of the better Danish players and then like, not getting a single frag in a round against an Exus. Uh, it's going to be a B push as Drugs opening up with the 3k spray down from Double Door. As for seeing Asmo, but it just wasn't enough for that reaction time. You know, getting taken down by that op. And uh, that B bomb site push was a huge mistake. Didn't work in the slightest, as we are going to see yet another eco round coming out from Eyes on You. It's probably going to give a 10 the advantage right now. Looks like they're just keeping it simple with right up. Take control of middle. Very little can do there. Mount B does pick up a kill, but that's about all they're going to get from what I can see. Unless Casper can hit something amazing. No, he can't. Was a double deagle situation until Casper got taken down by that off, and it looks like uh, Malt, which is uh, also known as. Uh, Pull that up here. Herden? Also known as Herden. <laughs> Looks like he's going to go ahead and go for that rotation along to A. Wait for the one that he goes for. He does get his approach down slide. Tries to get that in for. Lovely 1D. Sadly, Struggles was there behind him, but that is going to be 6 to 5, and that was an okay eco round. As in, they picked up two kills. You know, you probably want a little bit more than that, but, well, you take what you can get. As we are going to be seeing a full buy round again coming out from both sides. As it is worth noticing that TCM or 10 have more than enough money to buy up next round as. Ace Mode getting off that quick op shot on uh, Herden. 
I don't think he was ready for that at all by the looks of it. Needs to pick it up a kill with the AK on CLY. Shutting down Cat, but Asmo replying with the op. Simon is sneaking out long. There's nobody there. If he's going to go ahead and push long, he might have a chance to change this round. Fighter in middle, and it's a two versus four right now. Hear them on long and on short, but that's where the bombs drop right now. Right, it's gonna take down Chicago King. Picking up the first frag. Picking up the second one, it's now a 2 versus 2 right are going absolutely huge, getting control of that bomb again. They've got 40 seconds left. Simon able to get a, get across that, uh, that A section there, because now they're both on A plat and have full control. And the bomb has gone down. Gonna be two AK-47s against each other. Parents, they have the advantage of defense, but they don't have the advantage of men. Up to Simon. Again, picks up one headshot. It's one versus one right now. And it's another brilliant headshot. Huge frag right there. Huge win as they tied it all up. 6-6 six, six here for Eyes on You and 10. Chicago Kid is Stavros, I've been told. Obviously, we do know that players in these kinds of leagues do like to play with standing stuff, so. You know, when they use weird names, as Asmo is going to pick up the first frag onto Inza. He definitely, tried, he definitely most definitely called the uh, mid push there. I'm guessing they're gonna go ahead and get a couple more guys up on cat. And they do and they are ready for it. Well eyes on you can test A plat. Heard him pick it up that up headshot. Ryder battling it out on A plat. As he takes down Strugs with the AK. Headshots for him. So, so controlled. As well, missing the orc shot, hitting the second one. It's going to be a two versus three. Now we see QK Mantis coming up, but he's going to get flanked from both sides. Oh, I think he's going to sneak in. I, I don't know. I mean, he was running away. He definitely focused on A flat. It's now a two versus one. But, the smoke is there, giving him a possibility for a defuse. No, it isn't. He's going to rotate away, try and just save his weapon, as they don't have enough money to really go for this. And this is going to be 7-6, to six, going into the last round of this half. Well, penultimate round of this half. And really, this is... This is pretty shocking result coming out from Eyes on You. Yeah, Eyes on You should definitely win this next round. I mean, they got the money. Uh, Ten doesn't. You know, they're on an eco save, so they're going to have to force buy. So, the, statistically, Eyes on You should take this round. Obviously, we've seen some pretty good individual play coming out from both these sides, so anything is possible. As, is this pause? I think it is. Uh, let's check chat. It looks like it's paused. It's both you and I seeing the same thing. Hope it's paused. <laughs> yes, yes. We're gonna go with pause since both of us are paused. Is that the GOTV has crashed? It, so, it's probably a good time to look at how the frags are going. And we just see the highest fragger in the game is unsurprisingly Insta, who has probably, probably been single handedly carrying his team at times. Yeah, I would definitely say so with Rugga bottom fragging at 6 and 9. Ryder close to him with 6 and 11, and then you got Casper with uh, 6 and 10. The only ones positive for Eyes on You are Simon, but that doesn't mean that they're not playing well. It just means that they've been, you know, get, they've been just getting caught when they weren't when they weren't looking, and that's been happening to Eyes on You due to uh, their fast pushes, their quick rotates, due to picks. To be fair, Casper has been going up against. Uh... Asmo a lot, who yes. is hot fragging for Tid. Yeah, so it's definitely a, you know, a good matchup there. And Asmo's been opping him like crazy. I mean, his shots have just been on uh, since the game started. Um, he, I mean, if he misses that first one, it's pretty much a guarantee, you know, that he's going to hit that second one like he has been all game. It's a really close game here, though, as it's 7-6. to six. 
Yep, this is going to be anyone's... This is basically going to be anyone's game right now at this point. As in, eyes on you, they're going to want to win the next two. 9-6 to six is generally what's considered to be an average score for this kind of matchup. Though, 8-7 to seven again, this is anyone's... Uh... Anyone's game. Yeah, as in, this is not a very unbalanced map. As in, coming back on either side, or dominating on either side, isn't that uncommon. One of the few maps where whether you win or not is all based on how well you play as a team, not how well you play, play the map. Well, as long as Insta continues to play the way he's been playing, I really think that Eyes on You are going to take this match. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to call it just yet, but I mean, his, his, his aim control is just outrageous this game. I mean, pretty much hitting every round that, he, that gets fired out of his AK for the terrorist side. I mean, I... If he pulls the same with the M4, I mean, that could be a game changer for holding uh, holding those bomb sites, you know? Well, there's a reason why the Eyes and You almost uh, beat a lot of good teams at the Blast. Because obviously the Blast was a Danish land that uh, Eyes and You was last known for, and where I originally saw this uh, Danish lineup. And they went up against, you know, they went up against Copenhagen Wolves and Western Wolves, and they did amazing against them. An NIP game going on right now? I'm not sure. As in, since we have a little bit of pause right now, this is probably a good time to not nip out. Because I do know that after this, we've got a choice between several things. No, there isn't an NIP game going on. There's Fnatic vs. Copenhagen Wolves, which is done, being done by NIP. That's about it. But yes, we actually have a choice after this. We can either do Very Games vs. LDLC. Which should be a pretty sweet ass French match matchup. Yeah, I always love to see Very Games play. And it's against I mean, lately they've been in a, a little bit of a rub, but not too bad. But I mean, they're just outstanding players, so that, that that would definitely be a game to watch. Yep, and it's also a best out of three against LDLC. Ooh. Or there's actually, in fact, let's go with that one because the NIP versus Fnatic game will probably be cast by everybody along with the Kick and I Nation. Well, very games versus LDLC seems to be completely open. Uh, so we're still waiting for this to finish off. On. What's wrong with the pause? Let's see. Any updates? Yep, as like, Eyes on You did end up getting fifth at the Blast overall. I think they got knocked down to losers bracket by Western after a very close two to one series, and then they ended up losing best out of one Debt Esports, who ended up coming fourth. Lost against I think Fatic bracket. Everything's gonna go a little bit fuzzy. Oh no no no, we're back, we're oh. back, we're back, we're back. Someone moved. I saw movement. So did I. Yes, people are Not moving. Excited. The time's ticking down. We have a match. Yay! <laughs> All right, like we said before, this is going to be a huge round that uh, Eyes on You should take uh, and bring it to uh, eight to six. Hopefully, that pause didn't end up breaking anything. As in, I hope hope it wasn't that someone disconnects halfway through and we end up with a four versus five. Oh, As okay. damn it, it's paused again. Uh... I saw a movement. Got a pretty good mid-air shot of an AK-47 in the viewpoint of Simon. So how's everybody doing in chat today? I, uh, I'm Whiskey5, American. Uh, we got uh, Cameron here, who's from, uh, aka Banshee, who's from the UK. Uh, both co-cast in this stream. Um, I, I speak only you know, English, because I'm, you know, I'm American, I'm stubborn, I don't learn any other languages, that's just how it happens, so, uh, if you guys got any questions, feel free to throw them up in chat, and, uh, we'll do our best to answer them. I can speak C++ as well, that's about it. <laughs> that's the only languages I know. It's a good language to know. Finally finished my computer science degree. Had my Congrats. last... 
my last exam and hopefully I'll have a pretty good degree at the end of it. As yes, we are alive! So enough random chatter as hopefully again we aren't going to see a disconnect in this round. It's going to be some other reason like a lag issue and not a complete disconnect. As Asmo as hell is all the record doing. As Sam is going to pick up the first round. It is going to be a 4 versus 5 right now. As eyes on you, they're trying to make their way out of the middle. Of 10 or... Well... Strugs taking down Insta. Bring it to a 4v4. Sly already at 22 health. Strugs at 41 and Asmo at 54. Simon with 61. And Simon picking up his second kill here. Trying to work for a third here at long A. Bomb is also down right behind him at long. Looking like a Simon pretty good pushing. round. Still battling it out at long here, but he gets taken down by Struggs. Now a 3v3. It's anybody's round is Struggs with 14 and 54 by Asmo. Something worth to note is that they have left the bomb behind, meaning wherever they're going to push, it's going to be a little bit slower than it should be normally. Asmo does take down Asmo, making it a 2 versus 3. Casper going for the 360 no scope, not quite hitting it. Ryder unable to finish Strugs off when he was at 14% health. I don't know what happened there. Don't oh. know if he was just caught off guard or not. Strugs picking off uh, Herdin. But, in, excuse me, Casper with the uh, retaliatory kills. He takes on Strugs, winning it for eyes on you. It's now 8 to 6. Yes, we find out the reason why it took so long for that pause. It looks like we had a whole bunch of crashes coming out from eyes on you. As well as uh, Ryder disconnecting, that must have been why it took him, why he missed all those shots. But either way, I'm not sure if this is live right now. As we do yeah, see I don't players. Know I saw a bunch of people come back in. Yeah, because they all kind of disconnected, reconnected. I guess they basically had an issue with the server. I'm not sure what they're doing. Uh, whether this is a live round or not. So obviously, for those who are wondering, the GOTV is delayed, meaning, you know, we get stuff delayed. A little bit of complaining going on in chat, but we see cute game. We're going to assume this is live right now. Yeah, it looks like Tin took full advantage of the crashes as they ended up pushing them uh, while their players were still coming into the server and getting drops from their teammates. And that's what they're complaining is about. And it is now a 3v2 situation though, but the uh, eyes on you are in deep. Heard and taken down Chicago Kid, which is also known as Starvis. Shrugs getting the uh, quick pick back up on him to bring it down to 2v1 insta last one left alive as he gets taken down by coy trying to plant that bomb it's now seven to eight as we go into a switch a little bit of uh, people complaining in chat about unpauses and that kind of stuff but either way we'll be going live with the second half and hopefully there'll be no more crashes there'll be no more weird stuff happening and this is going to be what looks like to be a pretty good game we're setting up for right now We're going to be seeing eyes on you. They're going to boost onto shore. This is rather interesting with Inza, the top man on eyes on you right now. Along with Simon. At the two top players stacking up on shore. This could be pretty good. But Stavros picks up two headshots there with Chicago Kid. Nice little aims there with Sly picking up one of his own, leaving it all to Ryder and Hurden. Sly picks up another headshot from across the map. This is a pretty nice block work coming out. But Ryder picks up two kills in a row. Amazing transfer of aim there on that second one as he took down Struggles with that P2K. This is entirely possible. Cargo Kid or Stavros, whatever you want to call him, on only 20 HP. It's a 1 versus 2. If he can take down... No, he can't. Cut off mid sentence as uh, Star Wars goes ahead and just shuts down Ryder there with that Glock headshot. Which is not surprising. Normally, you know, terrorists take uh, Glock, that pistol win, every time on Dust 2. Also, note people, I have no idea what people are saying in the chat. Just because I only speak English.
play, we are going to be going live with round number two. That not work. And ends to open it up with a P250 headshot there as Casper picking up his first for the round, taking down CLY. Man is going to go ahead and get that frag on Insta. Not a good situation for Insta as he is their top fragger. And Eyes on you needed this eco win here. They have already picked up two kills in a row with this eco. As in, this is already a pretty. If they can pick up another one, this is a pretty good eco. And again, this is Eyes on you's mixed team. It's not their main lineup. So, I mean, in my opinion, they're doing already great against uh, a team like 10. Oh, Definitely yeah. showing that, you know, they are. As in fact, it's now one versus three. All to QK Mantis. Brilliant headshots coming out from the Ego round, and they are going to actually clutch it. Oh, eyes on you. Pull out some amazing frags. And this is going to be 9 to 8 in favor of eyes on you. And if you could take over the casting for just a second. Yeah, not a problem. So uh, we got Eyes on You winning by one. We're gonna there we go. go into uh, Eyes on You getting a full buy due to that win. Ten on an eco round. Looks like they're playing uh, two and three. Nobody playing mid here. Don't know how I think about that. Just based off the fact that Ten should be able to run up Cat without contest. Let's see how it plays out. Fly, fly with an opening two frag with that P250 headshot. Fly has really shown himself to be a brilliant pistol master. Some nice individual aim coming out from him. Is this really going to be a county eco to the count? And is this going to be an eco to the eco? Yes, the eco win to the eco win. Still a two versus three. They could theoretically do this if they want to. But are they going to push for it? As in, they might not just, just not have the money to do so. And it looks like they're just going to be playing safe. They're going to be giving uh, 10 another round. Tie it all up there for him. Simon picking off an exit kill from off Chicago there. Terrorists win. As it looks like Hurden and Simon are going to save their weapons, but that is going to be 9 to 9. Do they have enough money to up? doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just going to be those weapons they saved, and that's it. Hopefully that's enough for eyes on you. Looks like it's uh, Denmark and Simon. Denmark being Herden. A very heavy stack on A and middle right now. B is very, very open if they decide to go that way. And this might be a push out to mid. Ooh, Ryder in the wrong position as he gets uh, wall banged really hard there. But thank you, K Mantis down. gets banged, uh, banged twice then. Yeah, he's got two HP now as Asmo gets a uh, open head shot on uh, Herdin. Shrugs taking down Casper. Bringing it to a uh, 5v1 situation still series. Ooh. That was expected uh, for uh, Tin to win that round, as uh, Eyes on You was an eco. Now this is going to be. It looks like in. It looks like that the Eyes on You side still doesn't have enough money. I'm not quite sure where all their money went, since they have lost twice in a row, but don't seem to have the money for it. But either way, it's going to be another eco round. As Ten are going to pick up a pretty a two point lead right now, unless Eyes on You pull out another eco. <laughs> And Clyde doesn't know that uh, one is still long, but I guess Starvos did see him as he took down uh, Hurd in there at long. They're just going to go ahead and have full A control now. All up to Inza. Is Inza one? coming up, Cat. If he can pick up a weapon here, that would be a pretty good result for him. He's got one, he's looking for two. He's, I don't think he's trying to get the win, he's just going for the kills. He's 
not able to get a second one as uh, Starvis goes ahead and gets him down with that AK headshot. Yet again. And it is interesting to note that he got that kill without losing a single point of health. Pretty impressive coming out. Pretty impressive stuff coming out from Inza, who is still the highest fragment in the game by a mile. 21 and 16. Yeah, the next one up from uh, 10 is 16 and 10, and that's Manus. Asmo misses an easy shot there and takes grenade to the face. Things are not looking very good on this round for 10 right now, as they've taken a lot of damage with very little gain. Simon is the only one uh, on Eyes on You currently with a uh, diffuse kit. I hope uh, Tin isn't able to get a bomb plant here and hold the sights well. They are correctly placed at uh, A for a good hold. Uh, you got uh, one in B playing car. And it does look like the bomb can be slowly moved to B. Ryder getting a quick wall bang on COI, taking him down, bringing it to a 5v4. Davros, nice headshot there into Casper, but it is going to be a B push, but it's going to be up to Hurd. Hurd could have done a little bit better there as two game answers is left all alone. He's in a one versus two. Not over yet. We still got Insta and Simon getting pushed up uh, to B doors here. Man, it's going to go ahead and throw a flash over. Insta hits the Insta headshot, and that is going to be 11 to 10 in favor of 10, but... Well, eyes on you. They are... Keeping it close. Far closer than I ever expected a team like this to, you know, keep it with a team of the caliber of 10. Obviously, this is quite important because of the top players in each... Uh, in each ESL A series get to go through to the weekly cups that happen every Tuesday and Wednesday. The weekly cups are where you qualify for the ESM with whole bunches of money you can win. Because everybody likes winning huge bunches of money. Well, makes you guys in. Especially with video games. We got a uh, rider up in uh, mid doors. He gets taken down by Asthma with the AK. It's now 4v4, but Casper's still got that op, so, I mean, things can change any moment here as uh, Bomb comes up cat. And Casper is uh, holding it, uh, holding A from uh, the cross. Very open right now, as he's going to be running through short, Casper's completely blinded. He's going to pick a nice AWP shot though, he's looking for a second. But oh, asthma way too quick with that headshot as he takes him down, giving him A. Asmo Can they get the quick rotate as Simon moves into pit here? Asmo should not have won that battle, but he did with some amazing pinpoint accuracy. Going to be a 3 versus 3. Pick up another one. That is finally going to take one down, making it a two versus two. They're actually on the bomb right now, and the T's are kind of out of position. Oh, that was not good for Insta to go down. He definitely needed both of them to be alive to get this down. Win. As uh, Struggs goes to go ahead, excuse me, goes ahead and takes down uh, Herden, and uh, Eyes on You is going to uh, be down by two now. And they're going to lose this one as well because it is an eco and Asmo did pick up a lovely four piece there some brilliant some brilliant work yeah, his aim is spot on and really this is I hate to say it but this seems like it's just Inza and Simon trying to two versus five DCM right or ten right now yeah I I can uh, I can I can see that happening based off the scoreboard. Um, Obviously Simon, the scoreboard isn't everything, but... Well, no, I mean, uh, especially since, you know, the crash and reconnects are not correct at all. Uh, Simon was top, uh, top fragging right behind uh, Insta before the crash. Casper sadly can't get that kill, and it is going to be a 3 versus 5, easy bomb plank going off. Easy headshot for Asmo, and leaving it all 
up to Malt B. He's in a one versus five, trying to make anything happen for this round. If he can like even get a kill, would be pretty good for him. But I don't see it happening with only four HP and a P two fifty in hand. Yeah, looks like he's gonna go ahead and try and save that P two fifty because he knows. I mean, he ain't got any kind of chance with four HP. I'm just curious if uh, Tin's gonna go on a manhunt and take him down. And paste off the map. It looks like they are. They're just not looking in the right places. Terrorists win. Looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> <laughs> and so that is going to be 13 to 10. As well, their T side seems a little bit stronger than their CT, CT side of uh, Ben, but this is still anyone's game. Looks like it's going to be a 250, or excuse me, a P250 round by for uh, eyes on you as they go into another eco here to get a. A good save, a good buy round. And it is going to put them in a do or die situation, so to say. Because that's going to basically put them on 14 to 10. And at this point, is where you need to start winning. That point, you need to start winning every single round in a row. Inze is going to get the dink, but not quite any more than that. Well, this could change. This this eco round could change. They have stacked A. Eyes on you have stacked A as there are two on A plat and two facing it long here. But Cly, excuse me, Sly taking down uh, Castle there. Ryder getting a retaliatory kill. Chicago going down. And it looks like that 10, they've realized what's happened and they're just going to go over to B. There's nobody in B right now, they're all stacked on A and this is going to be a very easy bomb plant and a very easy hold. Now it's on you, hoping that there's going to be one person maybe left uh, at A to take down, but I don't think that's going to be the case. And uh, Tim's going to go ahead and plant. They're going to go ahead and move on over there, see what they can do for the 3v4 situation. Main is holding the op. They are going to be able to save a weapon from this. As in, Purden's going to pick up that AK-47 and probably try and save, while Simon and Ryter will look for those exit frags and maybe try and pick up weapons themselves. Having said that, this is definitely going to be 14 to 10. It looks like 10's already ahead of their game here, is they're gonna go on a main hunt for this. Rugs picks up one. We're gonna switch over to Siam. Actually, we're gonna switch over to Hurden. He's the one who needs to save his weapon. And Simon freaking out. He didn't have his A in there as Asmo was able to turn and burn him, making him take a seat. So now we're basically on the penultimate round for 10. As in, this is where Eyes and you, they need to win this. They need to win this and start stringing rounds together. Yeah, if they don't win this, it's definitely not going to be looking good for them as it's uh, 14 to 10 right now and uh, Eyes on you are on their buy round. Said that picking up those first two rounds is a pretty good start. Their first two kills is a pretty good start. However, the economy. Oh, and it looks like a mid to B push as they smoke the cross here. It looks like it's getting called and they are getting ready. But we'll hurt in is ready for the tunnel push. This is way down kill on uh, Manus there. And Eyes on you will take this critical round, bringing it to 14-11. Uh, However, the interesting thing to note is that 10 have more than enough money to buy up for the probably the rest of the round of this match. As especially if they lose all of them in a row. I'm just glad that eyes on you did get that critical round. It is going to be a close match now. Last two are always the hardest. Yep. Because you always feel so close. As Ryker is kind of going up against the orbs in the middle. Not a good thing to do with the M4. Grenade will take him down. Playing just a little bit too aggressive on middle. Looks like the rest of T's are pushing up through short. Going to be a five versus four. Smokes are there to fake. In fact, they're rotating over to Long, leaving it all up to Inser. But if anyone at Eisen you can do it, it is him. Running out. They know where he is. Simon's gonna pick up one. Inser's gonna pick up his second one of his own. Gonna be good enough, making it a three versus three. So not quite hitting that aim. The second bullet is gonna be good. That's 
does look like they're going to be committing to this A bomb site push right now. 30 seconds left. Curtain's completely smoked out. Heard in waiting for them to uh, go ahead and get in position, get the cross. That way he's able to push out from nowhere. It's actually possible now with the uh, man is watching long for them to take this retake. They push quickly, and it is as uh, they pick up two both kills of them get a one. kill. Let's switch over to QK because he's the one who needs to clutch this. Bomb's in a good position. He's going to pick up one kill. That was a kill that he done desperately. Did. Oh, and he's confusing. Oh, it just wasn't enough. Manus with the headshot. I feel since he had the defuse kit, that was the wrong call to make, sadly, from Simon. As we are going to be on match point four. Enners. Going to see a buy up the best they can for Eyes on You, as this is 15 to 11. Regardless of what happens, Eyes on You have shown themselves to be pretty good, considering this is a. Still. Oh, and Casper with an opening mid pick as he takes down Manus, their strong op. But Asmo, he's got that orb still. He takes up the helm and he gets the revenge kill. Now, cool the 4v4 situation as Simon has 5 health here. Might have taken a grenade to the face with that Max 7 in hand and you are not looking very good here. They don't have a lot of weaponry, their health is low. We need to see some clutch blades coming out and the bomb is gonna get planted onto A. He's still trying to deal with Sly at long. He turns his back and runs away. Will Sly push him from behind? He is looking for a pick. Sly is trying to sneak in behind and take both of them out. Uh, Instant gonna... new, but it just wasn't enough as Sly getting that yet again and AK headshot. What? what? And the counter terrorist eyes on you, able to get that defuse in before uh, Tig could even have a chance to defend. How the hell what did he? <laughs> Gee. I didn't even realize that was happening there until I saw Asmo desperately trying to spray through that smoke, but it. Somehow, eyes on you, hold on. This time it's going to be a straight up B push. The flashes are coming out. But this is got completely shut down. Now going to be a 2 versus 3. This is not the start that 10 wanted. Yeah, Ryder with an opening 3k hold there. Uh, is he going to go ahead and poke out a window here? Waiting for Simon to rotate around, as Hurden truly was man of the match right there. Oh, and so looking the wrong way. Casper trying to go in behind him and pick up that retaliatory kill, but unable to as Sly picked up the double to win the game. That is going to be 16 to 12, and in fact is perfect time to switch over to our next match as it's just about to start from what I think 